down giving. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here in a beautiful spot in Suffolk. Look at that, eh? Absolutely lovely. Still out on the uh, BMW. What I'm going to try and do today is do a bit of a review on it and... Uh, but the trouble is I want to do that with a uh, handheld camera. And you know what the little old cameras are like. Once you uh, get a little bit of wind, they pick it up and distort the sound. So what I'm going to do is try and go and find somewhere that's a little bit secluded and out of the wind. And I'm going to do a bit of review on this bike. It's the Postman. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you go. Out of the way. There's always a car. <laughs> right, let's go and find a spot to do this review. Look at this, eh? Unbelievable! This is Suffolk at its best. Trust me, this is at its best. Well, after about owning this bike for about a month now, I think it's time to do a bit more of a review on it. Uh, the goods and the bads, uh, the gremlins on it, and the good parts of it. So, let's get started. Alright, it's the BMW K1200S. 10 years old, 15,000 on the clock. Well, the first thing I'm going to go for is the brakes. Uh, ABS. And you won't believe this, this is the first bike I've ever owned with ABS brakes. Love them, really do. I've never known a set of uh, brakes, I think the BMWs, um, pull you up so well as unbelievable. Best brakes I've had, uh, well I can remember. So I love the brakes. <coughs> as you know I complain when I first shoe the bike about the grips. Uh, put the foam grips round lovely i did find that they were a little bit small i haven't got massive hands but too small for me so with the grips on really really good really like that all right we come down here and we've got the remus exhaust still got the baffle in at the back here as you can see the screw is still in and i've tried everything to get it out i'm gonna to have to put some heat on it i think to see what it sounds like uh, without the baffle but I'll get there single swing arm first bike again that I've ever had with a single swing arm quite like the looks of it the aesthetics of it look really really nice I think sets the bike off back of the bike looks like a parrot like a parrot's beak to me but not too bad. Shaft driven, lovely, lovely, no more bloody chains. So that's a, a bonus. Let's say single swing arm. Very nice. Right. We come down here and we go down here. You will see the front suspension. Yes, it has got forks, but no shocks on the forks or shock seals. It's all done by this spring system here. Um, riding it now for a month, I don't really feel the difference of this and any other bike. Maybe you get a little bit of judder on it sometimes, but nothing to write home about. But to me, it's smooth, nice, and I like it. There you go. Now, we look here, we have a BMW cowling on the back. Uh, I don't think it's for this bike, it's only sort of four screws into the back of the seat. It doesn't clip on or anything, but 
I think I like that. When I took Amy to Parsons Grove, I just undone the screws, took it off. Job done. Job done. The other thing is, if you come up here, tank, take these two screws out, and BMW seem to be in love with star keys. Everything is star keyed. They seem to be in love with it. But anyway, if you take this off, the battery's in the actual tank. So we're under, uh, it's under the seat on the uh, ZZR and some are in the side, but this one is actually in the tank here. Just take this plate off and away you go. Right. If we go here, you can see you've got all your uh, all your governs. Right, let's turn it on. Right, it's doing its checks, and you'll see brake failure. When I first got on this bike, I thought brake failure. My God, no way am I riding this. But after you go five miles an hour, that brake failure will go off. It's I don't know why it comes up, but it does. Um, you can change uh, different settings on this. There's the oil, clock, 1250, uh, speed. I think it's average average speed you've done. I think you have to reset that every time you want to do a journey to get the, the proper average speed. Um, that's your fuel, 46.3, so very good on fuel, very good on fuel. Uh, that's the range sound. I've got 64 miles left before I'm empty. That is for your front wheel and back wheel. Uh, it's telling me I've got 26 in the front and 28 in the back. I must admit, they have been a bit of a pain. Uh, you have to get them right on the nut. If you don't, you will get a warning light and it becomes a bit of a pain. But the last couple of three weeks, I had no problem because I've kept them you know the right te uh, right temperature right pressure because if you don't that will keep coming up it is a bit of a bugbear but I've got it sorted now so and then the other thing is you can set what uh, the suspension is going to do so if you like at the moment I've got it on normal so you can have it on sport or comfort it doesn't this doesn't um, affect the engine whatsoever it's only the suspension so I should imagine on normal as normal as it says sport I should imagine it will uh, stiffen up the suspension and comfort will soften it I just keep it on normal I've had no problem no problem at all right this wind is getting bad so I hope it's not affecting this camera if we come down here to the gear change the big bugbear with this uh, bike is the gear selector or gearbox is very clunky and it is very clunky very very uh, probably the clunkiest bike I've ever had but when I was reading the reviews they all said the same beautiful bike clunky gearbox and trust me it is clunky I can live with it but you know some people might not be able to right so all in all, what can I say about this bike? I like it. I really do like it. I like riding it. It gives me great satisfaction to ride it. It's comfortable. The sitting position is very comfortable. The pegs are in the right place. Everything you want is there. And... Uh, I can't fault it. Yes, the gearbox is clunky. Uh, it is, and oh, also this bike has got the tyres are Michelin Road Pilot fours, which, as you know, in my other videos, I've always said I'm a bit of a Pawali Angel man. So it's the first time I've ever had these on a bike, and I'm finding them extremely good at the moment. Really enjoying them. Um, I've heard one or two people say they can be a problem when it gets. The tarmac gets really, really warm. They sometimes get a bit too sticky and uh, can basically destroy themselves. But I haven't found that yet. So that's another good thing about this. If I had to reshoe this, would I keep these on or would I go for Poali Angels? I'd probably keep these on. Yeah, that's saying something. <laughs> well, at the moment I would say that. 
So yeah, that's the tyres, that's the bike. Will I recommend it to anybody? Yes. If you're looking for a Sport Tourer, you know, you look at the ZZR 1400, you look at the Honda 1200 VFR, uh, and you look at this bike, I think this bike, in a way, is slightly better because you're getting the same sort of technology with it as you are the newer VFRs and the ZZR 1400. You are getting that technology uh, for a lesser price because you know the bike is slightly older. Um, if you haven't got masses and masses of money to spend, look at a second-hand one of these. Recommend it. Engine-wise, it's very, very quick. It's about 165 horsepower. It's very quick. I can assure you. So if you're looking for something like a Sport Tourer, say 10 nine eight years old have a look at these ones get the lowest mileage you can of course that speaks for itself and i think you get yourself one hell of a sports tourer there you go so there, i think that's enough from me i hope i've got everything in there i probably left, left out loads of stuff don't usually do reviews but anyway all ride safe love each other suffolk andy and his k1200s